cuts. One of the biggest debates many of us have is, should I get bangs? If you're in that boat right now, we've got everything you should know before you commit to the chop, courtesy of Mr. Sal Leonetti. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Sal, the bang is in, but what it are is. some trending styles we're seeing right well, you now? Know, first and foremost, with bangs, that word sometimes gets thrown around a little loosely, mm -hmm. right? They'll tell us bangs, but they really mean kind of like a layer to the chin. Yeah. Because for hairdressers, bangs live in the forehead area yeah. and like the cheekbone area. Okay, so right? a bang is like a, a bang is bang. a bang, right? That's right. how we interpret it. So it's, you know, choose the words wisely when it comes to picking a style, yeah. right? So uh, curtain bangs. We're seeing a lot yes. of great curtain bangs. I love them. They can be to the side. Yeah. I think the curtain name kind of got created when the middle part became so trendy. That's right. Right? They're like, and they are. They yeah. swoop, and there's different variations of them. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing some great short micro bangs that I think are really yeah. fun and trendy as Edgy. well. Edgy. We're mm -hmm. seeing the straight across bang again. Okay. Right? We're seeing that, but yeah. what I do like about them is they're a little wispier in the middle, which yeah. makes it a lot easier for you to, I guess, transition into that curtain bang and kind yeah. of Keep it away from your eyes. Okay, so we always say here, you know, there are rules and then there are exceptions to the rules. Yes. But we want to talk a little bit about bang rules. Like, yes. who would bangs work for and who might find it a little bit more challenging to so, rock a bang? Let's start with challenging. Yeah. Okay, I brought a friend here. Hey, okay, girl, this is our friend. How you doing? We'll start with challenging. Now, yeah. okay, so a couple rules right off the bat. A smaller forehead, generally, you find it a little more challenging when, when it's a bit smaller because yeah. that means how the bang needs to be very short to accommodate that style. It's just not enough forehead. It's not for enough a forehead bang. for a you bang. You need a five head like you do, mine. You <laughs> like, there's literally, like, there's so exactly. much forehead. I Absolutely. can do a full bang. It's no big deal. A heavier hairline. A heavier hairline tends to be a little bit of a challenge sometimes because yeah. the hair growth pattern is growing very heavy and in a direction that's going to fall always in front of your face mm -hmm. and create those little circles around your, your forehead. So it's, it's right. hair that, ha like, there's nowhere for it to go. Nowhere for it to go. And yeah. it's also, when you have shorter layers with that hairline pattern, it's the, those are the scenarios where you can never have an e a nice blend. Oh. It's always kind of sitting a little heavier. Yeah. So if you do have that hairline, it's something to keep in mind if you're going to go that short. Well, okay, so right? it reads like, bang, and then hair. Absolutely. And then you, you want it to be <laughs> totally. more, like, exactly. a little bit more blended. Exactly. Okay, So I see it. a few people, actually, in our audience that could work great with bangs. Can I show, show you? Show us. I would show love me. to. Show me who would be good. For a bang. I would see. I, I think bangs would work fantastic on you. I think they would be great to frame your face. Oh, nice! And um, definitely give it a really nice shape and bring out her eyes very nicely. I think it would be quite beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. And, and Sal, I, it doesn't matter if you've got a middle or a side part. You might be able to do a bang. You it, it, absolutely. Okay. And that's the fun part about them. You can move them around as well. Just with framing face and cheekbones, I think bangs could work very nicely on her. Oh, the nice. The hairline that I was talking about exists here, where yeah. it's falling away rather than falling into the face. Yes. It opens up the face and it's just much more much more of a flattering feel and look. Okay, you you should all be paying a lot of money for this because how many of us had made the mistake and just done the bang without getting a, a, con Absolutely. a consult? Absolutely. I'll send bills out after. So there you this. go. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you can just e-transfer the funds. Um, okay, so we, we've been talking a little bit about yes. who should, who shouldn't, yes. um, what to do about them if you've got them. Yep. We've got Pam here. Excellent. Bring um, her in. Come on in, Pam. Pam's got a beautiful bang. So I'll tell you where, we are, where we're at with uh, Pam right now is yeah. this is a perfect scenario where people get to this point, yeah. okay, and then even if they want to grow it out, they scale back and cut it again because they just don't know what to do with it. She's getting frustrated with She's the growing out process. She's getting frustrated, exactly. So it's like, I don't know what to do, so you're going to help her out So what, what I would do is I would take kind of like middle sections, and then mm -hmm. I would just focus on kind of like feathering. Mm -hmm. You see? We're feathering and creating sort of an, not like an opening so that it allows her to grow it out seamless. Right. So it's not just growing in front of her face. Right. So now it's. Because Pam wants to be able to see. She wants to be able to, <laughs> she wants to be able to see. And it's not, it's not your traditional kind of cutting where I'm taking a chunk and I'm just kind of cutting it short. Right. I'm cutting it in a way to detail it away. Oh, sorry, I dropped the comb yep. there. I got away that Away from her face. I have another one here, Tracy. Perfect. Okay. So very interesting, and and also info that we wouldn't necessarily know if you're trying to do this at home. Absolutely. I mean, my suggestion is talk to your stylist. Tell them yeah. what you want to do. There's always ways around sort of creating different looks. Mm -hmm. It's just about communication and getting to that point. 
Okay, so if you are touching them up at home, follow your uh, follow the rules that you've showed us right now. But you would yes. also say go to the salon. Absolutely. <laughs> if you can, because go you will be you open can. to taking people on. Absolutely. For I a will. bang trend. It, it's we'd rather do that. Yes. We'd rather do that <laughs> than someone come in and having done their own bangs, and then it becomes a whole other correction scenario, and, and we don't really like that. No, it's harder. No, it's that's a, a bit harder. scary sometimes. Beautiful. Thank you, Pam. Okay, Pam. Beautiful. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Let's talk about other bangs that we might want to try out. Maybe if we don't want to be so committed to the bang yes. and it's something that we might just want to have for a season or reason or an event. Well, how about an accessory? How about an accessory? An accessory. So I got Which one I here. I hair is, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> so I got these great ones right here. What I'm going to do with this fun accessory, I'm also going to show you how to trim it at home. Yeah. Right? Okay. Not necessarily the accessory, but if you have your own bangs and you want to trim it, got it's just it. a little bit of a rule. Can you help me with this, I Tracy? I will help you with and that. And you promise not to laugh, right? No, not at Absolutely. all. Absolutely. Because I feel like those are really good on you, Sal. Oh. Thank you. I, secretly, I love, I wish I had the hairline. Yeah. Okay, so nice. you're trimming your bangs at home. This is something to keep in mind, okay? I'm gonna, you said you would laugh. Sorry. It's so pretty. Okay. okay, so we're trimming our bangs at home. Yeah. What we want to focus on, just to give you a, a quick little synopsis here, we don't want to create new bangs, okay? And we don't want to no. cut into the sides because it can really start causing a different shape in front of the face. Yeah. You're going to want to just grab these middle pieces here, yeah. okay? And this is where you live, right here. This oh. is as creative as it gets. Okay. okay, and you're cutting upwards. You're uh, once again, you're not going. Not across. creating a straight hard line. Right. What right? about the twisting of the hair and I, then cut across? Not at this length. Okay. Not when we're talking straight okay. across bangs. These are great. They're a great accessory. They're fun. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. we actually have someone in our studio audience that has them on right now. And clip I think ons. Clip ons, and I think she looks absolutely rocking with oh them. Oh my gosh! Right? They are fantastic on her. Absolutely. Thank you very much.